All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know it's your boy, love one to hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Now, let me tell you guys this, because I don't want to hear nothing about no clickbait or none of that. Read the title thoroughly first. Now, let's go. If you really know your boy, love one to hate one, I got to give you guys these type of predictions before the fight. I do know a lot of you guys out there think it's impossible for Caleb Plant to stop David Benavidez, but I'm going to tell you why it's not. Okay? Number one, David Benavidez, he looks like a skeleton, y'all. That can be a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing. Because sometimes, maybe you just used to a guy having some weight on him, so when you see him look like a skeleton, like Devin Haney looked against George Cambosis, you think it could be a bad thing, which it can, like I said earlier, but then again, it could be a good thing. See, but David Benavidez's style is not like Devin Haney's. Devin Haney fighting Spurks, we know that. David Benavidez is going in his fight trying to take out Caleb Plant in less than six rounds. You guys, sometimes that could be a bad thing because what if Caleb Plant is still there? Physically, you could be exhausted and mentally. Because you like, damn, I'm hitting this person on everything in the kitchen sink. And he ain't going nowhere. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, you guys. I'm just letting you know, it's a possibility. And like I told you guys before, Caleb Plant got crack. Let's not act like he's a pillow puncher. So, in the later parts of the fight, David Benavidez could be up maybe round 10, round 11, and get caught with a good shot and get finished. Another thing is too, you guys, Caleb Plant got super hand speed. He may be faster than David Benavidez. Not only do, I think they speed about the same though, but I feel like Caleb Plant is more accurate with those fast shots. And it's the punches that you don't see coming. It's the one that puts you to sleep. All right, kind of reminds me like Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia don't only got power, but he got speed and accuracy. So that's why Tang got to watch out for that. But back to Caleb Plant. And I want to leave you guys with this. Anthony Durrell, the person you see laid on the canvas right now. I told myself this. He has faced a whole bunch of power punchers in his career. But... He's never faced nobody as fast as Caleb Plant. Marinate on that.